Hello, my Wolfpack. My name is Rudolf, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. No. Fetch. Well, now what? No. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Come on, mushroom. Get that stick. <laughs> Looks like these two are getting along. I sure are. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? What? It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's right there. Room 10. On the second floor. Oh, man. Listen. I don't want to freak I still can't get over the, the Max and Chloe theme song. Was it called Max and Chloe? I'm pretty sure. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Okay, really? Why? Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean. Well, it's out of batteries anyway. Talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to. You're not leaving? Of course he is. Yes, I am, but. Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. <laughs> he looks a bit like Santa. Uh, I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Ah, okay. uh, that's pretty cool. Do it. Thanks, Brody. Oh, man. Hope we can get Daniel a new shirt. Feels good. Oh, God. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And What's sad? Kept me safe. Now it's yours. What is that? Oh. A bandana? Or what um, is that? Do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like our official dart dog? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's your bandana now. Okay, so it is a bandana. Oh, look at her. So cute. <laughs> okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Oh, he was a cool dude. I hope we see him again. Don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, a tribe called West. So, you okay. Keep me posted when you can. Okay. <laughs> we will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Bro hug. Brody hug. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. My dudes, <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. Wait, that <sighs> that lamp. I'm pretty sure that it's Acadia Bay, 44 miles. Oh, okay. come on. Time to hit the sack. Don't this worry. lamp. I got you. It reminds me of Captain Spirit, but I can't tell if it's the same. If it's the same road. Okay, we got a new backpack. Oh, what the hell is all this? I wanted to leave this behind, but Dan insisted. All right. Uh, some leaves. Didn't mean to take them first. Brody silver. Yeah, that's definitely Brody. He must have forgotten it when he passed the backpack on to me. AFK. <laughs> Wait. Brody's le Brody left, he sounds... Uh, I'm a better writer than a speaker, that's when I'm writing his letter when you and Dana can, uh, are asleep in, in the car. I'm sorry that you can take... Uh, wait, it's probably easier if I read it like this. I'm sorry that I can take you forever, but there is a good reason. A dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where mom was currently losing her battle against cancer. And I have to be there. You found a few for dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I've left, but you needed more than me. Your goal is good and you need to follow your instincts, but please be careful and protect your barber no matter what. You will see when you uh, tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer than, than, or there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you on two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. Yes, hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West, I'm always online when not driving. 
But it was to say, if you use the pen, help you decipher. <laughs> it is actually kind of hard to read. But, oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, phone's dead. I miss you. Oh, this is... Okay. Oh yeah, he, she draw, we draw him. Weird but cool. <laughs> but, oh, and the dog. Wow, we went quite a long way. Holy crap. Ah, that's pretty cool. I'm not, not gonna use that bear. Screw that. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Okay. Good. So Looks where's like that entrance? Sleep for the night. I shouldn't have any trouble from them. Well then, room number ten it is. And now this reminds me of heavy rain. <laughs> hey, look, he's carrying the dog. Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, definitely not. This is some hotel. Not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Fair enough. Well, at least he likes it. Ooh. You do worry about, about the dog. It even has a Jesus. Bathtub. Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Well, that's Whoa. nice. This is nice. And warm. Oh, yeah. He told us to get rid of the phone. I wonder if that will be a decision. I hope it will be. This bed is soft. <laughs> Don't what about get used to kid. One? Too far from the TV. <laughs> Can I take the one in front of the TV? Sure, oh. kid. Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Alright. Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Alright, uh, paper. Nice. Aww. Shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? <laughs> Come on. Ah, sure, why not? Sure, I mean... You're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Scissors. Definitely scissors. God damn it. Alright. <laughs> Definitely blood. not scissors. I knew I'd beat you. Yeah, of course you did. And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be oh, the sorry. poor dog! It's a fair win. <laughs> yeah, it is. I surrender. Alright. I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you. Is he gonna watch the news? Probably. I'll be right here. Of course you will. Okay, let's check the phone. Hand handwritten note. Oh yeah, that's the the, the letter we read. I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. A card. What's that card? Yeah. Freezes Motel. I think we'll be coming back this way. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's in the closet? Monsters? A tie. I can see why they left that tie. <laughs> Another card. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Sure, I'll take it. Makes sense. Alright. Oh god, hot dog man, what the hell. Stanley the shoes. Ah, you know what, let's just take a... Take a shower. Could use one. Um... Oh, the light switch, of course. Ah, no, don't turn it off again. Bubble bath. Ah, no thanks. Fill her up. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. Uh, yuck, Sean. I found them in my bag. <laughs> Gross. Hey, <laughs> don't touch that. Yeah, don't, dude. Jeez. Oh, we can actually talk to him? Uh, let's send him to the ball first. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going. You're taking the dog with you? Oh, man. It looks warm. It is warm. Why didn't you use soap to make bubbles? Sorry, man, I forgot to. Oh, come on, seriously. Just soap as you want. It's free. Oh, everything? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Clean up good. But leave some for me, bro. Alright, there we go. 
Fine, some free time. I throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. Maybe that might be a good idea. He'd freak out if he saw me. Okay, so... Is there something we can still do with the phone before we throw it away, though? Time to say goodbye to modern life. Oh, boy. You probably got a lot of notifications while he... While the phone was out. It's been at least a day, right? Lila. Oh god. Wow, what the hell? Lila's freaking out. Of course she is. Leave her out of this. Or she'll get into trouble too. Oh man. Oh no, we actually Ah, oh, come on. No, we're calling her. Sorry. Sean? Yes, hi. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yes. Oh I'm boy, this is not gonna be an easy talk. I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. Well, I'm far away. Are you okay? How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's <sighs> fucked up. Of course it is. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. Mm -hmm. It will it be? I miss you so much. Is she gonna tell me to go to the police? Maybe you could come back. Yeah. Wish I could. You know I wish I could, but we can't mm. take that risk. They're they're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel. Oh shit. You're innocent. Yeah, well, how do you prove I that? Your back. No matter what. No way. I'm you, not gonna let you get in trouble. You're just a kid as well, so. What am I supposed to do? I, I mean, you. he's pretty set on not going back, so no, I'm not gonna go against that decision. I don't think it's even the possible. Fighters are disbanded for a while. Should actually change this, I guess. Oh yeah, we talked about it at the very beginning. Feels like forever, you know. No, oh, we can't. Nah, nah. No, God damn it. Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Oh sure. boy. Oh man, this is hard. Okay, throw the phone away before anything happens. Break it before I take out the SIM card and break that too. No. No, this is all. Oh, you can't see it. There's a prompt to throw the phone right where my face is. God damn it. Oh man. Poor kid. What the? Okay. Don't think about it. <laughs> Just tell Daniel the truth. How are you gonna? <laughs> are you kidding me? Ah, uh, you know what? I can't break this little kid's heart. <laughs> oh god, we can't make a music video. What the hell? Boom, bam, 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 da, 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 woohoo! Look at him go. <laughs> Doc going crazy. Alright, fair enough. It's a good song. I like it. No. Daniel, uh, come here. 
We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Did I? Or something. Okay. I'll get you a soda. Something's gonna happen while I'm when out. We're back. not talking to him directly now. I can't just, I just can't see it. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Uh... That's uh, just something we have to talk about, Daniel. Oh god. I can hear something weird going on. Alright, let's buy a soda. Do we still have the same amount of money? I mean, uh... Brody left us something. Oh no, stranger things approaching. Oh no, what the hell? Oh, fuck. oh my god, what the oh hell? God. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Oh, he saw it on TV! Your dad is dead! Why? Okay, let's talk him. was an accident! I fucked up, and a cop shot him. No. No. Oh no, I figured he would no. be like this. I'm so sorry. But you need to calm down, please. Why did you lie to me? <laughs> I was let's, I was scared, Daniel. Oh I god, what? You should have told me. I yeah, you should have. I didn't mean to. Come on, Daniel, please calm down, please. I'm here. It's okay. No, it's not. Can you please stop making things float? Thank you. What the hell? I want that. <sighs> Me too. Hmm. But what the hell did you actually do? You told me we were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Of course not. Ever. <sighs> promise. Uh, there's gonna be some situation where we'll have to try, uh, we'll have to lie to him again. Ah, I can just can see it. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Oh man. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Did nobody hear the whole ruckus going on that Daniel did? And is that gonna be the end? Sean. Mm, apparently not. Am I a monster? Oh, is that a trailer? What's wrong with you? You're different. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, so they took a bus. What are we gonna do now? How would I suppose to know that? You have to ask the people that don't know how the next episode is gonna play out. Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. No, oh, man. Can you tell me a story? Like he did. Oh boy, do I know his story? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers. <laughs> of course. Oh man. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, Hunter's 
took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers who were alone. Do you have an ending for that story? Please tell me they meet a bear called Brody. Almost alone on that on that bus. There are like three more people. What the hell kind of bus is this? Not like it matters. No, oh, he's asleep. This is very strange. Well, I suppose it's in the title, but you know what? I'm going to keep off my commentary until this is over. This is... Where do I start? First of all, did I like it? Yes, I, I did enjoy this very, very much. But I gotta say, it's very, very different from the Life is Strange I know and that I got familiar with and I assume it's the same for you. It's all a complete different theme different type of character, even though they might be in the same age and problem range. But the entire concept is completely different. Especially since we don't stay at one place, like for example we did in Arcadia Bay. We are now traveling, we are on the run. And that gives it a complete different context in my opinion. Also, can I just say that that one part with Acadia Bay basically shoved its hand into my chest, ripped its heart, ripped my heart out, squeezed it a few times and then threw it over a river or something? Ooh, that, oh boy, that took quite, quite a hit to me, especially the soundtrack. What I'm very... Well, not skeptical of, but aware of, let's, let's go with that, is how they are going to... Or is the question how they are going to uh, continue for me or not? Because there has been quite a road trip already. We went from Settle all the way down to South Oregon. And... I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. Will we see recurring characters? Will we see new characters each episode? How is Daniel uh, Daniel's power gonna take effect in this game? Because gameplay-wise, this did not happen at all. Uh, this does not have an effect at all. This was basic uh, uh, exploration, story-driven uh, uh, narrative uh, video game style, like uh, Before the Storm. 
And even before the storm had the, you know, the, the back talk challenges. Granted, this one has now a lot more openness to it. And uh, you were able to explore a lot more, which I didn't do as much as I would have loved to. And I'm definitely going to do it today. Uh, but um, yeah, there is quite a bit of a difference there. And uh, I don't know. It's different from what I thought it would be. And for now, this can be a really good or real bad thing. For now, I think it's a really good thing. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> good guy. Love them. Uh, they just had to squeeze that Arcadia Bay part in there. And I would really like to see what... Uh, how that story plays out when... Um, uh, when you... Um, uh, the, when you don't sacrifice Arcadia Bay. I wonder if we'll get to see anything from Max and Chloe, because currently we only got the bad effect of Akeya Bay being destroyed. And didn't get, you know, the payoff that comes with it. I'm definitely gonna replay this with a different side file where uh, um, I didn't destroy Akeya Bay just to see what happens. And now I'm gonna skip this. And hope for a trailer. I actually hold on. You gave the circle progress to Daniel. Only 18%, you dipshits. Most of us keep them for yourself. You told the truth to Esther. Oh, our dad's called Esteban. I didn't even know that. Alright, most people. You hugged it. Of course. You didn't take money. Uh, you confronted Brett. Fair enough. You didn't steal in a parking lot. Uh, most people did. You didn't beg for food. I guess most people wanted to keep their dignity. And same in the gas station. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Most people did. I didn't want to take the risk. You called Lila back. You promised Daniel you won't lie to him again. Many people did that. Oh, and now we get the, the, the uh, decisions that affected Daniel. Trailblazing. Yeah, most people did. Daniel fell and got dirty. Oh, sorry, Daniel. Build a fort. You didn't do a wood race. That was possible. I didn't see that. Didn't learn how to skip stones. Ah, oh, I missed a lot. Daniel didn't get mad. Huh. Daniel was afraid of your stories and had nightmares. Oh, well, you could have gotten sick from the berries? Alright. Daniel didn't have to back. Daniel didn't distract Doris. Daniel didn't... He didn't eat enough. Damn. Uh, he didn't get a power bear. Oh, yeah, sorry. And Daniel didn't steal anything, which I think is pretty cool. Please be a trailer. Please, 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 please. Oh, there we go. Come on, man. Focus. Snow, hold on. Okay. Is this going where I think this is going? Trust me. You can do it. All right, they're doing the Luke Skywalker Yoda training. Holy crap. Ah, come on. Uh, all right. So, next time we're gonna see more of its powers, and since there's snow, I'll assume we'll see Chris from Captain Spirit. I can just see that coming, and there is a different menu now, of course. Oh man. Well, that's Life is Strange for you. First episode of Life is Strange 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did, and I. I'm really looking forward to the next one. I hope it's in a month, two months, somewhere close. I need my fix of Life is Strange, goddammit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed Life is Strange too. If you did, then please make sure to like and subscribe, that would be very helpful. If you want to support me in what I'm doing, click the button right over there to go to my Patreon page where you can support me. I would really appreciate that. And otherwise, until the next video, I am out. <laughs>